Welcome back to LearnWire. In this video, I want to address a comment that uh, Cade uh, left about a day ago. <clears throat> and they say, David, you've been using various AI creative softwares and SEO optimization software for almost a year. Uh, could you make a video about the results you're seeing in the web pages you have created in that time? Do you do products like Neuron Writer uh, help you quickly break in the top five in, uh, on Google? Do products like Word Hero ever cause copyright problems um, and so forth, right? So I want to kind of just address this and show you guys some results that um, I have um, have gotten uh, since starting uh, to use these tools. Uh, I have kept track um, quite a bit of different key keywords, uh, what tool I used and if they're currently ranking and if I used any optimization tools and so forth. So I'm going to sh reveal a couple of the keywords for one of my sites uh, just to prove to you that uh, you can rank, you can absolutely rank um, AI content and you can rank it high as well in the top 10. Um, I Now I don't uh, dive in and read, you know, the Google algorithm updates on a daily or weekly basis. Um, but from what I've heard that they, they do have an algorithm that um, identifies, that tries to identify if your content um, is written by artificial intelligence. Um, now, obviously the game is uh, for artificial intelligence softwares to stay ahead um, and to be extremely smart. And um, apparently there are tools that you can go out and check uh, GPT-2 and 3, I believe, um, uh, you can check your content on those sites to see if it passes or what the percentage is, you know, if it's a 98%, uh, you know, it passes the tests, kind of like a copyscape test uh, for plagiarism, but this, uh, these tests um, identify if, um, if there's any kind of similarities or a way to identify if they are from uh, AI. Uh, but I have content ranking. I'm going to show you guys that. So this is um, for, for Cade. Thanks for asking the question. It's nice to kind of give you guys an update um, as well uh, every once in a while. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you <clears throat> some of the rankings. I'm blocking out. Um, obviously, you guys are smart. You guys can take these. You can find my site. And you can go and find out what um, keywords it's uh, ranking for and so forth. But I don't want to just flat out reveal all those um, to you. But as you can see, we definitely have um, rankings right here uh, for this site. And in particular, um, I want to look at these three keywords, things to collect to make money. Can you make money making bath bombs? Um, this would be like uh, selling products on Etsy and things like that. And then also how to make money as a graphic designer. And these are all going to kind of, um, I used a different tool for each one uh, to create the content. And then even more importantly, uh, down here, this one I just um, created and I published this one literally like a couple weeks ago. And I noticed that within two or three days, it was already ranking um, pretty highly for a pretty nice term right here. That, that's getting 590 global searches, 210 local, um, how to make money as a graphic designer. So I created this article here using artificial intelligence. And then I also used Neuron Writer uh, to optimize it. And so I'm going to show you a little bit of how I track this stuff, but things to collect to make money. Let's go back. I'm also going to show you my spreadsheet that I have not kept up with recently, but I am going to show you it uh, right now. Now you can see I, I blocked out um, one of them was not included on here, but I do have the uh, can you make money making bath bombs and best things to collect to make money. And as you can see, um, I got these keywords from Rank IQ. So I'm just um, showing you guys that I practice what I preach. I've I've uh, um, advertised as an affiliate rank IQ and I actually use the software on a daily basis in my business. <clears throat> I will leave a link below to rank IQ and then you can also go and check out my rank IQ reviews and um, I've made a lot of content using the software. So uh, you can see that I pulled, I got the keywords from there um, and then look at, here's the AI writing tool. I've used writer, I've used outranking. Uh, one of them I, for, I logged into every tool I knew and I couldn't find this, that keyword. So I just put unknown, but I do know that I optimized it in rank IQ and I do know that I got the keyword for rank IQ. So that's, those are the most important parts. Um, and I think I can, I've proven that, um, you can rank multiple AI writing tools. So, uh, you can, I can literally say that like you, it's not this, we don't have to get into ranking 
which one's better than others. Now, I would have to do thousands of AI articles using, you know, 20% of one tool, 20% of another tool to really come up with data, follow a full process and log everything. Now, that would be a massive project and undertaking. But then at that point, then and only then would we be able to maybe identify which AI writers actually do uh, produce the best content, uh, passes the AI uh, checker algorithm by Google and actually ranks. But as you can see right here, I used OutRanking and I love this tool. I don't make a whole lot of content on this tool. It is kind of a, a like a, a hidden secret. Um, I should start making more content on uh, using OutRanking because they update their tool on a daily basis. It is uh, one of the most impressive AI writing tools out there. And they also do full content optimization. And I mean, they're, they are just a fully loaded uh, tool. So OutRanking is awesome. Uh, I can leave a link below if you want to go check them out as well. I pay monthly um, for um, AI writing credits with them as well. And this, uh, this content right here is uh, ranking. And you can see that I optimized it without ranking. I wrote the uh, article without ranking. Um, I got the keyword from Rank IQ. I published this on 220 uh, on February 24th, and um, and I'm going to explain what this right here, this column is right here as well. Um, but uh, obviously they are ranking, and I don't have a column where they're currently ranking in here right now. But uh, I'm going to explain this to you in a minute. Now, best things to collect to make money. I know for a fact that I wrote that in Brainwork. I can't show that one because I had two Brainwork accounts. And when I, I purchased, like sometimes I'll do a trial account, right? Um, but then when I decided to purchase the uh, product, I got like a tier three, I believe, with Brainwork on AppSumo. Um, I used a different email address, right, to make things easier. And so I lost access to the other account. So I can't log in. But I know uh, because of my, tr my trusty um, Excel file here that I did write that, in fact, in Brainwork. And it's ranking um, very high. Um, and so forth, right? So just showing you that, and then in this one, I actually used a combination of Brainwork and OutRanking, and um, and it's ranking as well. So the ones in red are not ranking um, currently, um, and so you know you you can be the judge, right? You can be the judge. Of the, I did not put uh, a lot of these uh, articles I wrote while um, while making a video. I didn't go back. I didn't do any editing. I also didn't do a whole lot of optimization. I didn't do a whole lot of things. I didn't add images. Um, I didn't add external links, internal links, things like that. So there's a lot of other things I could do to get these to rank. Um, but these ones certainly were 100% written by AI and they are they have good ranking spots. Now, Here's the new column over here, guys. So neuron, the neuron score is um, basically what that tool is saying about the content. Now look at this. Uh, I highlighted these in green because it means that the neuron writer score was higher than the top 10. I put a note up here, the top 10 score. So the top 10 score is 32. The top 10 score is 47. And I um, have a, my content is better than the top 10 score. And, and so there is something that's coinciding with this, right? Because that one is ranking, that one is ranking. Now these other ones that are not, like those two are not, they're not ranking and I have really bad Neuron Writer scores, right? I'm not meeting the uh, minimum top 10 score. So there is somewhat of a correlation um, for uh, if your content is not uh, ranking um, higher than the top 10 score, then and I got a red right here, well then that, it's not ranking, right? So I can go back into these articles and this is a way to use Neuron Writer to put your uh, content in there and go in and, and optimize your content uh, to, um, to start ranking higher. And I would track everything, make notes and track what you're doing because then you'll know what tools, because I mean now by this time I have dozens of tools. If you don't keep a spreadsheet like this, then you're not going to really know what tool is working for you and what tools um, that you should spend your most time in, right? When you have this many tools, and I know a lot of you um, battle the same kind of, I mean, I think it's a good problem to have. We have, we're very fortunate people to be able to have access to all these tools, right? But um, I do think it's important to kind of lock in on a couple tools that you really, really believe in and really like 
um, and use those tools to create your content. And right now I can say that there's a correlation between brain work and outranking um, for creating content. They make good content. Um, and then also um, Neuron Writer. Um, I want to show you another really cool thing about Neuron Writer to kind of prove that it works as well. So Neuron Writer, we're going to come back here and look at, obviously you can see I'm ranked number five for things to collect to make money. Um, super cool. And that one was just all AI. And then this one, all AI is ranking number 11. And then how to make money as a graphic designer. I wrote this just a couple weeks and I, I wrote this right in front of you on a video and uh, we're using, um, using AI and I actually used, um, I'm going to go and look right now, but how to make money as a graphic designer is ranked on page, uh, what page three or four right now for a really good keyword. And let's go and check that out real quick. So you can see right here, I used brain work to write some of this top 10 ways to make money as a graphic designer and all this content right here. I actually plugged this in. This is about a thousand words. I plugged that in to uh, right here a neuron writer, uh, 12 ways to make money as a graphic designer right here. Um, I, you can see we have over 3000 words. Um, what I did was I, I actually used neuron writers AI to write this content, right? And then uh, there was a point in here where I needed some more content because this was a big piece to get this right. And so we came down here and like see 12, 11, 10, 9. If we go back into brain work, this is where I got all these one through 10. I used this over here to quickly write something. I plugged that in here, but then the other 2000 words in here I wrote with neuron writer. Okay. So then now we come back up here and we look, I have a 73. I'm beating the number one spot and I'm also, my score is way significantly higher than the, um, the uh, 51. Uh, and this, so this was built in Brainwork and Neuron Writer and optimized with Neuron Writer. And I know a lot of you are curious about this and it is ranking on page three or four. And I just published this a couple um, uh, weeks ago and actually within three days it was already ranking and it's grabbed that spot and it's stayed there. Another thing that we could do um, is uh, go in and see, I think the top analysis. Yeah, we can come in here and actually see the domain authority um, is 54, 83, 50, 38, 99, 49, 60, 36. So every single one of these DAs right here is uh, significantly higher. I'm only at a 29. So that kind of gives me my answer. I'm going to have a really hard time beating out th um, these um, top 10 rankings because my domain authority is, is significantly lower. Um, I would maybe have a chance of grabbing maybe the eight number eight spot, um, right here, but there is not one opportunity on the top 10 right here, um, to grab this spot. Um, keyword difficulty is a little higher at 31, maybe some backlinks, um, or something like that could get me into the top 10, but this just shows you that you can create content using neuron writer and optimize it um, in there and actually you can rank your uh, content. So, um, then uh, I guess one more, because I did my niche, uh, website, uh, built my niche site case study, and I only have a couple pieces of content. I mean, nothing is even really, um, I only have like two articles indexed. I haven't put any other time into the site. I plan on uh, putting a lot of time into it because I think that this site could really do something cool, but it's my auto detailing report.com site, right? And, um, I published this one, get the best car detailing in Flagstaff, Arizona. And I actually, uh, created this content with wordplay. And here we are sitting on page six. And then I have another one, uh, car detailing in, um, castle rock. And it's, it's ranked in the top, um, hundred as well. So, um, I could go on and on showing you that these, um, pieces of, uh, software, uh, do work. And so I just wanted to show you uh, some of this stuff. I have the proof. I actually log in and show you that I wrote those, that content with artificial intelligence, um, AI writing tools, optimize them with AI writing, and then they're also ranking. So um, now, right now it's kind of hit and miss. I can follow that same process right now and maybe, um, and, and it's kind of weird because if you pull up my site, which I'm not going to do right now, you'll see that I'm ranking, uh, like all the keywords that my site is ranking for are very high 
difficulty levels, but then they're actually ranking for the, that stuff. And then sometimes when I go for an extremely easy keyword, um, then my content doesn't rank and it's nowhere to be seen. So that right there is a little um, interesting, frustrating. Um, we should be able to go through to very easy keywords and, you know, dominate those keywords. But um, I'm also in a very, very competitive niche, how to make money online. And that's considered the finance niche. And that's uh, possibly the most competitive uh, niche that you can be in. And so that's why I think I'm having, um, it's kind of slow coming. Um, but I also have um, an agency that I will report on later on um, that I am uh, outsourcing um, back some backlinking building to and some um, content that they're writing uh, as well. So, but this uh, video, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I just wanted to put this together just to show you um, some proof that uh, you can rank content right now, uh, July 18th, 2022. You can rank content on Google, and you can rate content in the top 10 using only artificial intelligence content. So uh, that's it for this video. Um, make sure you like the video, make, make sure to subscribe so you get more updates like this, more software reviews, and more SEO tips and tricks. All right, I'll see you next time.